Toronto man is on the hook after he said a contractor he hired and paid a great deal of money to did not complete a home renovation project. Sean O'Shea is live tonight in the beaches with this story. Sean. Alan, we're at Queen East and Kenilworth. We're just outside the home office of this contractor. We just finished physically running after this contractor who's been evading everybody for weeks now. How would you feel if you spent $82,000 in deposits to get a home reno, but then the guy doesn't do any of that work? It, it literally felt like someone dropped an atomic bomb on your life. A home renovation gone expensively wrong. No delivery, nothing but excuses, lies and deceit. Jeff is a home renovation customer in Toronto. We've agreed not to use his last name because he's concerned about his safety for reasons unrelated to this story. In 2021, Jeff hired this man, Todd Miller, who went out of the company name Miller Building Group. Jeff heard about Miller from a satisfied customer, a referral. I interviewed him, he showed up, he was very professional. Miller did some work at the home, although Jeff later had to hire trades to get the job to the point of near completion today. So basically, you've ended up paying twice for the stairs. Correct. You paid twice for the kitchen. As Jeff was invested in the project, Miller asked for more and more money. Larger deposits of the longer uh, lead items. Miller had $82,000 of Jeff's money for work not yet done. Then he took his tools and disappeared. I think it was absolutely disgusting. Whether he, his intent from the start was to defraud me, I think he should be ashamed of himself. We went to Miller's business address, which is also his apartment in Toronto's beach area. When Jeff's process servers tried to serve legal papers, Miller wouldn't answer the door. Over several days, we waited to catch up with Miller to get his side of the story. So I'm Sean O'Shea with Global Television. I'm a reporter. Finally, Miller appeared and found the fire escape back to his apartment. Why'd you take the money and not give him the services, sir? Someone who had nothing to say because he has no justification for his actions. You took $82,000 from him? No, that's not true. Well, you didn't do the services, did you, sir? Miller offered no explanation. Recently, Miller's been trying to keep a lower profile. He removed the branding from his truck, and uh, that leads me to believe that he's just looking to rinse and repeat and do it all over again. Jeff says Miller's actions were not only expensive, he caused months of stress. Jeff placed a negative review about Miller online to warn others but the legal system will likely offer little or no relief. If someone goes to steal a chocolate bar from a convenience store, that's theft, that's a crime. The recourse is, is left to civil courts, which, you know, there's not much. Well, you want to come down and talk about it? No, I don't. And that's the fire escape that uh, we caught Miller on a couple of weeks ago. Miller was here about uh, 10 minutes ago or so. He was about to drive in. He saw us. We ran after him. He is literally a man on the run because he does not want to have to deal with this. He does not and has shown that he does not want to pay back any of that money. At one point, he promised uh, Jeff that he would refund the money. That was months ago. Nothing came of that. So the lesson here is that even somebody who has good references, even somebody that you can go and see the work that was done, it's no guarantee that if you hire that person, your job is going to turn out that way. So beware, give as little money in the form of deposits as possible as the project goes on. Alan? Just so frustrating for that homeowner. Thank you, Sean.